Welcome to Mechanics. Today here on Mechanic we have a 2015 GL450 of a Mercedes. We have an engine code on and we're going to go over what those are. So we have our OBD2 scanner hooked up to the system and then we're going to go in through the smart VIN. That smart VIN is going to communicate with the vehicle and come up with the VIN number and match it. We're going to go through the engine control module because we don't want to scan the whole vehicle. We just want to do the uh, motor electronics. Then we're going to read our codes and we have some codes in here. We have a P010812 and then we have a P023812. These are both in the same um, line of system and they're the both exact same sensor so they can be swapped one or the other. But it's the intake manifold pressure, uh, pressure sensor and the intake manifold pressure sensor is this sensor right here on the very top right before it goes into the intake and this whole pipe is your manifold sensor. And then the other one is the boost pressure sensor and the boost pressure sensor is located right down here just below the throttle body right here with the electrical connector right there and a T25 screw to hold it in. So you would just remove that T25 screw and be able to remove this sensor to be able to replace it. And so this is the boost pressure right down here. It comes into your intercooler and boost from the exhaust system. And then it'll go back through your, your throttle body intake. And then we have our, our throttle body intake pressure sensor. So this one, I'll just show you how it's done. This sensor, we pull the little tab back, the locking tab, unlock it, and then be able to depress it and pull that back. Undo the T25 screw. With that T25 screw removed, we can now just pull the sensor out to be able to replace it. And like I said, these are just, it's a manifold pressure sensor. And this sensor and the boost sensor, they're the same exact sensor. So if you wanted to rule out that it's just a sensor, you could easily take the one out from down here, the boost sensor, put it up here and, and check it to make sure. And also you're gonna visually be checking to make sure that there are no leaks. Everything is connected up here the best you can see. You may need to use a smoke machine to check it even more fully if you need to. But to start with, you can just replace the sensor and you get a new one, you place it back in here Make sure you have the O-ring on the new one and that the O-ring on the old one came out so that you're not putting any foreign material into your engine. And then be able to just tighten the T25 screw up. Just snug. And so the electric connection is made and um, we replaced the, the sensor there. So now we can go into our code reader uh, and then delete the code and say yes, we want to delete the code, codes are cleared, and we don't have any codes in the system anymore because we have replaced it. Now if it comes on immediate, it didn't come on immediately, but if it comes on within a week or more or so, then you'll want to be looking where do you have a leak and what is is making a bad reading. Thanks for watching Mechanic, and you can be the mechanic.